Okay, today is day 12 of 30 days. We're trying to do trying to do 30 days in a row, walking at least a mile every day. Today I'm going to do at least 1.05 miles. All right, let me put the camera on. We'll get going. See if Ranger is around. He wants some food this morning before we go. Nice out today. see him. He must be either sleepy or not hungry. All right, let's see what he's doing when we come back home. Okay. Oh, now you coming. Come on, duel. You want some food? You hungry? Huh? Come on, Duel. Now he wants to eat. Come on, buddy. Not that hungry. He's not much of a hurry this morning. You hungry? Come on. You're not hungry at all. You hungry? Hey, what are you doing? Meow. <laughs> now he's eating. All right, now we can get going. Kathy did a head start, went to mail some letter. She's going today. All right, about 12.30. All right, here we go. Put in your guesses. We're gonna do about one point. Hi, oh, sorry. Hi, <laughs> 1.05 miles today. So much for you and your camera. Come on. We're gonna go this way. You were too far away. People couldn't really see you. Put in your guesses. We're going to do 1.05 miles today. Guess at least. So guess how far and how long it'll take us. Do you want to guess, Kathy? How far? Yeah. I don't know. A mile, 0.05. What? A mile, 0.05. 1.05 at least. How long do you think it'll take? 40 minutes. 40? I think you're a little long. Here's the first dog of today. Put How the, long do you think it's going to take? Uh, about 28. We'll you put the dogs at, dogs at over under four and a half today. Mm, over. Over? Yeah. Nice dog you gave. <laughs> Inquisitive. Nice out today, about 65 with wind chill, maybe 64. Sunny. It's supposed to be 
nice the rest of the week and then rain on Wednesday, Thursday. See what we see today while well, we see something interesting. Yesterday we saw a disco ball tree. I saw a disco ball tree. Kathy didn't go. She was lazy yesterday. It's not. I think tax stuff. <laughs> oh, she was doing tax stuff. Excuse me. Beautiful out today. Shorts weather. Shorts. Looks like we're going to have to walk up this way. really see you're too short. What's in your hand? From... Oh, okay. It's like they're building a house down here or something. Yesterday I saw a three bedroom, three bathroom house and they were renting it, trying to rent it for like $4,600 a month. A lot of money. It wasn't even on the beach. Anything on the beach would be... 8500 yeah. yeah. Hey, there's the big crane again. Or a big crane. I don't know if it's the big crane. What's it doing? It's way over there. See him? Uh, yeah. Like two foot ball high. Maybe like, he's hurt? No, he flies away when you get close. Like why, a, why does he keep going to the same field? Look how tall he is. Look at his neck. I think it's a crane, not a pelican, but it's a crane, I think. It's, it's a sand hill crane from the best I could figure out. Look at that. Never seen him before. Now I've seen him three times. Why is he just sitting in the field? I don't know what he's doing. I'll walk over to him. He usually flies away when I get within about 20 feet. Maybe he's hurt. He's not hurt. I've seen him in different places. Look how tall he is. Wow. That's a big crane. Thought it was a stork, but I think it's a crane. Look at him. I don't even know if it's the same one I keep seeing. But I'm guessing it is the third time I've seen him. I don't think this is the same one. He's let me get a lot closer. Look at that beak. Now he's starting to go away. It's kind of an orange beak. big like two feet tall let me get a little closer not too close he doesn't come like a squirrel <laughs> he's going the other way you might attack me wow he's getting a little bit closer there he goes. No. Nope. Pretty. Gray with an orange beak. Doesn't seem to be too scared he'd have flown away. Yeah, I'll probably see him again one day. Well, there's another dog, French Bulldog. <laughs> Kathy!
Now that was interesting. Never seen a crane here before. Now I've seen him three times in like a week. But that's the same one. He's always by himself. That's something. Always something interesting on this walk. <laughs> Here's a really a big crane. Here's a, a workman's crane. You saw a bird crane. Now I see a workman's crane. I don't know. Working on the wires or something, I guess. A bird crane and a machine crane. I got pretty close to the crane. He let me get closer than the other two. Uh, he never, he almost wanted to fly away, but then he decided just to keep walking. He didn't think I was that big of a threat. Where did he walk? You know, just whichever way I walked to him, he walked the other way. Where is he now? He's still in the field. I don't know if that was the same one or not, but it's unusual, like I was saying. That Maybe he's hurt. He's not hurt, he could have flown. I could tell. He, he was going to fly and then he decided not to. Maybe he couldn't fly. I'm pretty sure he could fly. But I've never seen one around before. Now I've seen well, the same really one three and four something. days. Maybe five it's the days. same one. It could be, but that one didn't look as... The other one looked a little bit different. Maybe he was hurt, but he could fly before, but now it's... No, the last shot. time I saw it was way down here. I think that's a different crane, I think. Could be the same one. Let's walk this way. Some pretty yellow hibiscus. That's what I wanted, and you said no. We got red instead. We don't have any. We have the something coming over from the neighbor. Look how pretty that is. I know. We would have had this. Yeah. And you said no. Well, we got some from the neighbor. I always see something on this trip. Well, see, I get really low bushes that only bloom for a few weeks once a year. Well, we could have had those big, pretty hibiscus shrubs. Well, that's the way it goes. Only because of you. I'm the one that prunes the roses. You don't even get out and cut the roses. I take care of the whole yard. Okay. You don't do anything. And the roses get there to begin with. Yeah, me. I know, but without me, they'd all be dead. <laughs> I do. They never bloom. I cut them back and prune them. I take care of the whole yard. You don't ever leave the house. Here's a policeman. I don't lie. Let's go up this way. That's you must be have me confused with yourself. What? You must have me confused with yourself. What's so loud up here? Street cleaner or something. I feel like this camera is loose. Nice, Ed. Are you hot? A little warm. Huh? A little warm. It's kind of warm. I got on shorts today. 
What is it, about 65? Well, I'll walk a little different ways today. We'll go down here and turn left. We've only seen two dogs. Almost halfway done. Make sure you write down in the comments how many days this is for you. How many miles you've walked. What your goal is. If you want to do a, a mile a day every day for 30 days. Half a mile a day every day for 30 days. This is day 12 for me. Trying to do at least a mile a day every day for 30 days in a row. This is day... Three out of four for Kathy. That's a record. <laughs> well, what's your record? It ain't bad. What is it? I don't know, but it's not bad. But four bad. days in a row? Perfectly well, it's not. How many days? A lot. A lot? Yes. What's a lot? Four? What is what you're saying? Five? What you're saying? I don't know. Just trying to speak the truth. <laughs> we don't really know for you. You don't write down anything. I don't need to. You need to write it down in the comments section. You write it down in the comments I do. You do not. You need to play along. People with written goals are 10 times more likely to achieve their goal than people that just think about it. I don't think you think about it either. I just ask you to come along. Oh, I came along to do it. Yeah, because you were going to the post office. What's this car? Some kind of... It says old Honda. That looks like a custom. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that car is. It says it's a Honda. Comment below if you know what kind of Honda that is. I think it's custom. Never seen a Honda like that. Gotta be hot with that sweater. Go up to the street and turn left, head home. To get you a big more than a mile in today. No stepping. Are you excited? <laughs> Gardener over here. It's like every day is yard day. The gardener on out every day of the week, basically. So we may only see two dogs today. We've only seen two. Two pretty quickly. Two dogs, one crane. Maybe we'll see one more. You guess the over. You think you're going to be wrong today. Walking too fast. How's your ankle feel from the other two walks? 
How about your knee? Maybe you should only walk every other day instead of trying to do it every day. Why? I don't know if it, if it gives you pain. <clears throat> every time I take a step, it gives me pain. Right. Oh, well, you should see I the doc doctor. Yeah, you should see a doctor about that. I already did. They said it was, more, it was metatarsal overload. Well, what I can do to fix it? They told me to put these inserts in my foot. But you didn't do it? I did. They have them in my shoe right now. Oh, you do? Is it helpful? I also don't walk around the house with them. I told you when you put them in your shoes, you can fly and you walk around. Then your feet start sweating because they're in shoes already. Oh. And then they start smelling. Gross. Yeah, well. We don't need to tell the world about that. Like 50, they want to hear about stinky these, feet. These sole inserts. I thought something in the house wasn't smelling too good lately. Oh, right. That's not me. You just did stinky feet. No, so then you put the Dr. Scholl's powder in them. Oh, boy. But I shouldn't have to do that. So now we got pads and stink and powder. What a mess. That's the last thing we need. How's it feel today? What kind of shoes are you wearing today? You think you need like some better shoes? Maybe some like uh But I mean are those shoes pretty comfortable? Maybe you need to uh, Maybe I need to see what's done. do some therapy. Therapy might help. Here's your little orange tree again. Got one little orange on it. Don't steal it. Two, three. I got a poinsettia at the two poinsettias. You have oranges in the bottom of the refrigerator. You forgot about them. Oh, I did forget. Those little bitty ones? <clears throat> yep. Yeah, those weren't too good. Well, they still taste good. They're just small. Oh. Really nice today. If every day was like this. Go in short sleeves and short pants every day. Are we walking too much for you today? No. Okay, and I don't know, we're only at 8 tenths, so it'll be about what we said. Won't be too much over. Might just be right at it. The goal is 1.05 today. Too fast again? Don't ask. There's some more red hibiscuses. They're not yet. What's your favorite flower color? Hello. <laughs> Pink, yellow, red, blue. Flower color. Flower color. Purple. Flower color, maybe yellow. Well, some flowers are but blue. Not yellow, pink. Any, any color? Like. I 
like fluorescent pink. You like pale pink. I don't know what what is this color? This is like a pinky purple. I guess it's more purple than pink. I don't know what those are. Some type of succulent of some sort. They, they let it take over the whole yard. I don't know what it is. Succulent. Here's your fountain again. You got two fountains. The van coming. All right, we can go half right here. Hold up. Okay. That car looked like it was going straight, and now the sun veered off. Did the turn? Have to be careful. Want to walk this way? A little bit differently. Looks like we're going to be very close to 1.05. Maybe I'll just a little more. We're at 0.93 right now. Nice out. You probably didn't need your sweater, huh? Yep. I think it's supposed to be equally as nice tomorrow. We're going to be very close to 1.05. Like perfect. Perfect walk for you, huh? Mm -hmm. Some wildflowers growing over there. Whoa. What did we see today? We saw a big crane. Then we saw a machine crane. Then we saw some type of Honda sports car that looked customized. I didn't know what that was. And what else? Purple succulents. One point oh five be a little bit over my guess is going to be pretty close how much how many minutes did i guess 25 i thought i guessed 28 maybe i guessed 25 
it's going to be about 27. So if you guessed 1.08 miles and 27 minutes, you are the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See if Ranger went back home. I mean, back to the side of the house, into the pyramid of hibiscuses. What are you doing, Ranger? You're not even gonna look up. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> he is sleeping hard. All right, that's it for today. Day 12 in the books, 12 consecutive days. Trying to do 30 in a row. And if it goes well, people like it and subscribe and comment and want to follow along, then I'll do another 30 days in a row. Here you go. Here's the keys. All right. That's it for today. Come back again tomorrow. If you want to see yesterday's uh, video or any of the past, I'll put a link to one of the older videos so you can easily click on it. See you tomorrow.